It's deja vu all over again. Nikon is being sued by Red Digital Cinema for using the compressed raw video recording capability in the announcement of the new Z9 flagship camera. Well, everything was bound to happen, and this was something we had expected. Everyone was excited for the launch of the firmware version 2.0 for the Nikon Z9 a few weeks ago. The upgrade, which has been available for download since April 20th, provides the ability to record 12-bit NRAW up to 8.3K60, as well as ProRes RAW HQ up to 4.1K60 internally. The party, though, seems to be over. Yes, RED recently sued the Japanese company for infringing on their iconic compressed RAW patent. The battle has officially begun. As most of you know, Red's products are often used to film blockbuster movies, along with numerous other films and television series, since the release of their groundbreaking Red One camera. The Red cameras and products have revolutionized the filmmaking process. Let's talk about the highlights of this lawsuit. For alleged infringements, Red Digital Camera LLC is suing yet again another manufacturer, claiming damages and or royalties. Red is extending its claim to compressed internal RAW recording features, having initially filed lawsuits against Sony, Kinefinity, and Nokia over identical disputes. Kinefinity was compelled to discard Cinema DNG from their cameras recently. They also abandoned their own KRW 2.0 codec development. Furthermore, despite the manufacturer's previous announcement, ProRes RAW never made its way to the DJI Ronin 4D for pretty much the same reason. History truly has a way of repeating itself, and Nikon is the target this time, with Red accusing the company of illegally imitating its data compression technology by using Intupix's Tico RAW format, which Nikon applied in the current firmware 2.0 upgrade for the Nikon Z9. On May 25, 2022, Red filed a lawsuit seeking damages or royalties, and also an injunction barring Nikon from infringing again. Nikon infringed on its video compression patent, according to the lawsuit, by including features in its new flagship camera. The case, which was filed in a federal court in Southern California, claims that the Japanese camera manufacturer and its U.S. subsidiaries have allegedly infringed on seven patents that deal with a video camera which can be configured to greatly compress video data in a visually lossless manner. Through assignment U.S. patent number 7,830,967, Red owns the 967 patent, entitled Video Camera. The 967 patent, for one, describes a video camera which can be set to compress video data while maintaining visual quality. The camera can be set up to transform blue and red picture data in a way that improves the data's compressibility. After that, the data can be compressed and saved in this format. This enables the user to recreate the red and blue data in order to retrieve the original raw data, which may then be converted into a modified version of the original raw data that, once demosaiced, is visually lossless. The data can also be processed so that the green image components are demosaiced first, and then the red and blue image elements are reconstructed using the demosaiced green image element values. The Nikon Z9 can now take 8.3K raw video footage at up to 60 frames per second in Nikon's new NRAW format with the 2.0 firmware upgrade. With not just one, but two internal raw codecs, the Z9 can now record up to 4.1K at 60 frames per second, thanks to ProRes RAW HQ. This compression technology originates from Nikon's Inclusion, a high-efficiency RAW recording codec created by Intupix and launched last December, otherwise known as Tico RAW. The lawsuit claims that Red's patents, usually known as inventions, have been used, with the major concern being Nikon's products that practice and or embody those inventions. Red has been informed and believes that Nikon manufacturers uses, imports, offers to sell, and or sells cameras under the Nikon name in the United States and in this judicial district that infringe on each of the asserted patents. Nikon's infringing video cameras or accused products, according to Red, comprise, but are not limited to, the Z-series mirrorless cameras, which include the Nikon Z9 with firmware 2.0. Nikon is also being accused of knowing about Red's previous lawsuits and the fact that its patent notice is published on its goods, packaging, and website. Nikon advises users of its Z9 cameras to obtain Z9-related manuals from Nikon's download center, then informs them on how to capture a motion video in the NRAW recording mode. Enjoying this video so far? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. 
The lawsuit also claims that because Nikon and RED compete head-to-head -head in the video camera market, the company has incurred injury in at least three areas – lost sales and earnings, reduced business, and injury to the company's overall reputation and industry position. The Tico RAW feature had already been in the headlines for months, and RED could have waited for the Kodak to be put into a competitor's flagship camera before bringing a lawsuit, according to speculation surrounding the complaint. It doesn't even appear like RED is pursuing Intupix, which created the Tico RAW format, despite the fact that this Kodak is also allegedly patented. Instead, it appears that RED is more concerned that the Z9 is recording internal RAW with a similar technique to that which RED has patented. Sure, business is business, and American companies are entitled to protect their own discoveries. However, it appears that this ongoing long-term conflict is not only constraining Red's competitors, but it is also slowing down the entire industry. However, as Atomos and Blackmagic Design demonstrated with their ProRes RAW ecosystem and B-RAW format, this circumstance drives firms to come up with innovative methods to solve intellectual property difficulties. After being downloaded and installed by thousands of people and with Z9 shooters already using it to shoot NRAW, the removal process may be nearly impossible. It's hard to predict what Nikon's next move will be, but there are three possibilities here. Red ends up winning, Nikon deletes the new recording compression feature from the firmware upgrade, and customers are compensated. Nikon compensates Red for its victory, Red loses, and the other camera makers will be able to use compressed RAW as a result. We'll update you guys once we know more. So, what are your thoughts? Is there anyone who's safe from red? Please let us know in the comments section below, and if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.